Hey witches, welcome back to the channel. It's the Wild Witch here. I hope that you're all doing wonderful. We finally got moved in the new house and this is the first altar that I was, uh, I've been able to put up since we've been in the house and I got it finished just in time for the spring equinox or Ostara. So happy spring equinox or Ostara, you guys. I hope that y'all all have a wonderful day today. Um, but anyway, I thought that I would show you guys the altar. Like I said, this is the first one um, that I've put up in the new house. We're not completely finished. We've still got um, some things to do, but I want to. I wanted to jump on here real quick and just show you guys the altar. So as you can see, I've got all these little um, containers all right here. I'm doing a seed blessing. So I'm going to be planting in these little jars and like that little skull head. And then I'm going to start some seeds inside. This is like three containers. And then I've got some seeds all in here and some more seeds here that I'm going to plant. And then I'll transplant them outside. And we're just going to go over here. Now, I don't have any candles lit because all the, the different candles that you see on the altar are going to be in a, um, like a family ritual that we're doing um, this evening. So, but I've got to wait till my husband gets off work. So, I'm just going to do this really quick. So, I've got some crystals here to represent, you know, the balance of the day. And then some candles. And this is the window. We picked some um, flowers first thing this morning. Um, these are some flowers out of the yard. And also, I'm going to, after I show you guys this, I'm going to take you on a real quick plant walk. Um, so, you can see that anyway this is what it looks like I've got so much stuff in the windowsill and then yeah not too much um, I'm still working this is a candle that I made so yeah this is it you guys it's not much but anyway, I really have not had time. I've been working my ass off. So this is it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. And give me just a minute to get outside. And then I'm going to show you guys some plants. Okay, we've got some hawk's beak right here. Let's leave. Some hawk's beak. Um... Sorry, this light. I can't see, guys. I can't see. I might need to do this when the sun goes down. Um, here is some burr clover. You might notice. Here, I'm trying to find. There's a little little yellow flower. So this is burr clover. Then right here, we've got some henbit. So here's some more. That's not. Uh, well, it's barely blooming. So we've got that there. Okay, here's some spiny sow thistle. And then over here, if you can see it with the little white flowers. Um, I'm trying to get some of this grass moved so you can see it. Oh, that's chickweed and then if you look right here we've got some shepherd's purse okay right here is some everlasting okay this this right here I want to see it stick to me this is cleavers it's got Okay, right here, hold on, all of this right here is yellow wood sorrel. Right here's some bitter dock. And I'll show y'all some curly dock in just a minute. Right, this is um, spiny fruit buttercups. 
these yellow flowers here. Alright, here's a patch of spotted medic, and you can see the spots on the leaves here. Okay, this is Speedwell right here. You can see the little flowers that are just starting to open. It's kind of like a periwinkle color, but yeah, this is Speedwell. Okay, this right here, it kind of looks like little lily pads. This is called um, Pony's Foot. And I believe this is Carolina's Pony Foot. But I love it. Okay, here's some dandelion growing right here. Okay, this guy right here is mouse-eared chickweed, which is a little bit different than the, um, let's see, than this chickweed that I showed you right here. But you can use them interchangeably, or I do, anyway. Alright, here's some poor man's weather grass. Right, here's some curly dock, this big leaf. Here you can see how the edges are curled. Here's another leaf. And then here's some more. I've harvested a few of these leaves for um, spring salads and sandwiches. So here's some new little babies growing. Now you can see these cleavers coming through this fence a little better here. You see how they're sticking to my skin and they're sticking to each other? And then here's a little patch that's growing here. I love these guys. Uh, we got some nettles right here. Alright, here's the um, evening primrose right here. It's closing up this morning. They were um, still in full bloom, but it's around this grass. But there's a primrose. There's, ooh, sorry guys. There's some thistle here. Some more primroses all around the thistle. That's on another thistle plant there. Okay, here's some vetch. This um, purple right here. Isn't it beautiful? So this is vetch. I think that's how you say it, vetch. Okay, you see this right here? This is poor man's peppergrass or that's what we call it so it's all of this here and it makes great seasoning like that's what we use it for okay here's some Texas vervain see there's a couple of little shoots they've not started blooming Alright, this orange flower on this, it's like vine, is called Creeping Mallow. So I think that's it, you guys, um, that I'm going to show you right now. We're about to go on a walk in the woods before I harvest plants. And if I see something that I think you might be interested in, then I will add it to the video. So, if not, I guess this is the end. Okay, here's a wild dewberry uh, flower. And so, this is just one right here. But look, all of these, 
all up through there are going to make berries. So I've been keeping an eye on it. So I can come pick me some fresh berries. See, it's all along here. All of this, all up through there, through there. All of this. And on and on and on. So, yeah, I'm going to be able to get me a lot of dewberries. Like wild blackberries. Okay, you see these green leaves right here? This is wild lettuce. Look at this thistle. It is huge. So beautiful. Okay, you see all of this, the leaves that look like this? There's a whole bunch in this wood right here. This is lyre leaf sage, or some people call it cancer weed, or wild sage. But that's what this is. Okay, you see these beautiful, beautiful flowers right here. This is called Indian Paintbrush. Okay, you see this tree right here? You see how the bark... This is Witch's Elm. It's very cool. Okay, you see this plant right here? The leaves. This is Plantain. And I absolutely love it for skin. I hope you all have a wonderful spring equinox or Ostara. And until next time, fly high witches. Peace, ho!